Now let's discuss each part of the song as well as the playing time of those chords. For the intro, you see E major 7th and A major 7th. E major 7th is for one measure and on the next measure is A major 7th. So it goes like this. If the tempo is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... There, so that's how it goes. But you'd see two dots right at the beginning and then there are two dots also at the end of that sequence. Those two dots actually mean repeat sign. So that means you'll have to do that sequence for two rounds. So it goes like this. And then going to the second round. And then right after that is verse number one. And as you can see, E major seventh is also for one measure. A major seventh for one measure. E major seventh for one measure. A major 7th for one measure, A major chord for one measure, G sharp minor for one measure, F sharp minor for one measure, and B dominant 7th for one measure. So whenever you see a bar to the next bar, that indicates one measure. So as a demo, it goes like this. part is verse number two. E major seven is also for one measure. A major seventh also for one measure. E major seventh for one measure. A major seventh for one measure. A for one measure. G sharp minor is for one measure. C sharp major is for one measure. And then B seventh suspended two slash E is also for one measure. But you see a downstroke for that chord. And what I mean is that instead of applying the pattern, you'll do a whole note rhythm. You just strum B7 suspended to slash E with just a single downstroke, right at count one, and you will hold the sound for the whole measure. So it's going to sound like this. One and two and three and four and... So it's just one strum for the duration of that chord. And to demo, it goes like this. One and two and three and four and 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 there. And then it's followed by another line. So verse 2 is just like verse 1 but with one more line. And you see the next line, it has E major for one measure, A for one measure, E for one measure. But then on the next measure, you'd see four chords. A major, G sharp minor, F sharp minor, and A major. So there are four chords in that measure, and that measure is a split measure. You split that measure into four chords. And how do you split them? You look at the counters. One and two and three and four and. You'd see that at count one, you have A major, and there's a downstroke right on top of that. So you strum A major with a single downstroke right at count one. And then as you count N, right after 1, going to 2, the end between counts 1 and 2, you have G sharp minor. And you just strum it with a single downstroke. And then on the end, between counts 2 and 3, you have F sharp minor. 
and you do a single downstroke for that. And then on the end between counts three and four, you have A major chord and also apply a single downstroke. And then you hold it up to the end of that measure. So to demo that measure, it goes like this. One and two and three and four and. So for that line, starting from E major chord, we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So this is a challenging part for this song. For you to be able to do that, you need to remember the sequence of chords, A major, G sharp minor, F sharp ma minor, and back to A major. So we have to isolate this set of chords as a practice. So you count slow, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... So here's verse number 2. One and two and Verse number three is exactly the same as verse number one. The same sequence of chords, the same playing time for each of those chords. So here it is. One and two and three and four and 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 one. Verse 4 is exactly the same as verse 2. And so here it goes. One and two and three and four and 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 one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and After verse number 4, or verse 4 is the instrumental part. And as you can see, there are 8 measures. First is E major 7 for one measure, followed by A major 7 for one measure. But as you can see, the sequence of E major 7 and A major 7 is preceded by a pair of dots and followed by a pair of dots. So that sequence E major 7 to A major 7 is for two rounds and then it's followed by B for one measure and another one measure for the same chord so the B major chord that follows is for two measures and you'll see a different pattern E major 7 to A major 7 and to B major you'll have to apply that pattern so that pattern is to be played or to be applied for a total of six measures and the pattern is a sequence of down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So all you have to do is remember there are beat counts. And those beat counts are 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the counting is 8 note counting. And that's why you see letter ends between 1 and 2, between 2 and 3 between 3 and 4, and 4 to the next measure. And right on those ends, just do a pair of down up. So it goes like this. 1 and, right? 1 and, you do the same for count 2. 2 and, 
and then the count three, three and and then that count four, four and so for one measure, one and two and three and four and and you'll have to do that for six measures. So here's how it goes. One and to be major or two measures one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then it's followed by D major with another pattern and the pattern is downstroke right at count one upstroke at N between count one and two and then right at count two there's that word break so all you have to do is when you get to count number two, you stop the strings from ringing by just touching the strings. So it goes like this. One and two. And then after that break, you have a downstroke at N between counts two and three. So it goes like this. One and two and, right? But there's nothing that follows that stroke for the rest of the measure so all you have to do is just keep that downstroke ringing up to the end of that measure so it sounds like this one and two and three and four and then on the next one you have another pattern for b dominant seven but if you notice that pattern is similar to the previous pattern you have strokes at count one on the end between counts one and two and break right at count two and a downstroke between counts two and three. The only difference between the two patterns is that there is an upstroke on the previous pattern, whereas for this chord, it's all downstrokes. So downstroke at count one, downstroke at the end between one and two, break at count two, and downstroke at the end between counts two and three. So it goes like this. This is B dominant seven. One and two and three and four and and the last stroke which happens at the end between counts two and three you will have to hold it or keep it ringing to the end of the measure so it goes like this one and two and three and four and now as a demonstration for the whole instrumental part it goes like this one After the instrumental part, next is verse number 5. And you see E major 7 for one measure, A 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 major for one measure, G sharp minor for one measure, C sharp major for one measure, B dominant 7 suspended to slash E for one measure, but it's just a single downstroke and that's a whole note rhythm if you want to learn more about basic rhythmic patterns like whole note rhythm half note rhythm quarter note rhythm and eight note rhythm click this link for that lesson and then that B dominant 7 suspended 2 slash E is followed by E major 7 and the pattern is the main pattern it's followed by A major 7 and then E major 7 for one measure and A major 7th for one measure. And as a demonstration for verse number 5, it goes like this.
last part of the song is outro. It's similar to the intro actually. But if you listen to the record, you would hear that the song didn't end with a final stroke. But the sequence of A, e major 7 and A major 7 is repeated over and over. And you could hear the volume decreasing. That's why I have the word fade there. So all you have to do is just do another round and then just fade out or fade away. You can do three or four rounds, but you fade as you go for the next round. So it sounds like this. One and two. Alternatively, you can actually just play one round of that sequence of chords, E major 7 for one measure, and then A major 7 for one measure, and then end the song with a final chord, which is E major 7 with a single downstroke. And to demonstrate that, it goes like this. Or you can do two rounds of that sequence of chords before you do a final single downstroke on E major 7. So it goes like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Second round. And then the final stroke. And then as you do that, you just keep your fingers there and hold the notes as long as possible. And when the ringing stops, that's when you can relax your left hand fingers. And here's the demonstration of the whole song.
I hope you find this tutorial helpful in learning to play the song on the guitar. At the end of this video, you'll find three end screens. One of them is a demo play along for this song. The other one is a playlist on guitar lessons. And the other one is a playlist on chords and lyrics. Add this video to your playlist or download this video so you can watch it offline. I hope you have learned something from this tutorial and if so, don't forget to click the like button. And also I'm counting on your subscription. Subscribe so that you help me grow this channel and also so you get notified with the latest upload as soon as I uploaded a new one. And let me know your thoughts about this tutorial by leaving your comments below. And um, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.